Right, hello, welcome back to the vinyl review. And I'm quite excited about this one. Uh, this is Etherwood. Etherwood? Etherwood? Still not 100% sure. Um, and his new album, Neon Dust. Now, I have been listening to Etherwood, Etherwood, for a good few years. And it all started with this album, uh, self-titled Etherwood, Etherwood. And this was an absolute game changer for me. It was one of the first albums that really perfectly blended drum and bass with chill out music for me. I mean, there's been lots of others before that have done stuff similar, you know, like LTJ Bookham or Bonnie Size and things like that. Um, but this was the first one that I heard that properly resonated with me. Uh, and this was an absolutely amazing album. It was very much a sort of self made album for Motherwood. And yeah, it just absolutely won me over the first time I heard it I thought wow what is this and yeah just ever since then I've listened to it constantly I think I probably listened to this album at least I don't know I reckon at least once every one or two weeks now and this is going on for however many years I've had this um, and still love it to bits um, and that was replaced soon after not replaced followed by Blue Leaves which was another amazing piece of work. Um, featured a lot more vocals, a lot more mixtures of vocals from other people, and I believe it had more of um, Etherwood's own album, own vocals, um, which did make a big difference. He's, he's not, doesn't only make the music, he has an amazing voice as well, and he teams them up really nicely. Um, but this was the first one where we really sort of started to collaborate with other people, uh, and really did go to town on on the album artwork and the album contents. Um, I think even the inners, I oh know they're basic inners, but at least they're printed labels um, and plastic lined inners, always a nice positive. Um, so that was lovely. And then along came this album. This is called In Stillness, I think. Let me check on the edge. Yes, In Stillness. And this, I believe, was an album where he went to Finland I think or Sweden and spent some time out in the wilderness there and just wrote the album based on his, his time and experience out there and an absolutely amazing looking piece of work in this this artwork um, and this really was uh, I think I wouldn't don't want to say a return to form but this was kind of took all the best bits of the first album uh, and the best bits of the second album and seemed to blend them together uh, and make this and again it featured some people but it had more of his own vocals and a more of a, a rounded album feel which I thought was was wonderful um, so to the case in hand here we go so I have already opened it just to check what was inside um, but let's have a little peek um, I should you should know plastic free all right it's got a bit of tape on it but other than that plastic free this is exactly how it has arrived even though i've opened it and checked it this is how it came to me no cling wrap no cellophane wrapping um, which i think is brilliant so let's take a look at this he's obviously proud of this you know he's up front and center on the album cover looking awesome has to be said um, and the artwork on this is beautiful um, Side, Etherwood Neon Dust or Etherwood Neon Dust. Etherwood, Etherwood, I am very sorry if I am um, getting your name wrong or right in the wrong order. Um, but I've always known it was Etherwood and then someone told me it was Etherwood, so I do apologise. So this is the back. And you'll notice this is a three, uh, three disc copy. And check this out. It's signed. Isn't that cool? I didn't actually know I'd ordered a signed album. I think I did that with one of the other ones I reviewed, I think. Um, but yeah, it arrived and it's signed, which is awesome. Look at that. Very, very cool. And the, art, the artwork carries through to the individual discs. Take a look at that. Now, when you order an album, it's nice to have more than just a sleeve and a disc. 
this is going all out. This really is. Um, I mean, short of having, you know, postcards and stickers and booklets, this really is giving you a full, full package of artwork. Plenty to read, plenty to look at. You've got the lyrics on the, on the sleeves. You've got some information on there. And you've got thank you notes on there. And what a piece of work this is. Now, I haven't listened to this in full. Um, I've given the first disc uh, a bit of a run through. Um, but the first track, track one, um, which is Lighthouse, um, featuring Zara Kershaw. If you haven't heard any of his music, go look up Lighthouse by Etherwood and give it a listen. Just gives you an amazing flavour of, of what this guy is capable of. Um, he's not only made an amazing piece of music, he's picked the vocals perfectly to match. Um, and, and yeah, that that one track sets the scene for the entire album, I would say. Um, whilst he doesn't have the uh, inners, I can understand that because it's plastic free. Um, so it's 50-50 that, isn't it? I, it's nice that it's plastic free. At the same time, it's paper rubbing against vinyl. So it's not always ideal. Um, you can obviously put your own liners in there. I wouldn't actually mind if it had liners in there because I would see that as a long-use plastic rather than a single-use plastic. However, I reckon if you do treat these right, if you do the old uh, sort of press and roll technique, can I copyright that? Press and roll technique. Um, then you get minimal scratches. There is a bit of dust on this actually. I'm not sure what I've done to it since I took it out, but it has got some dust on there. But I promise you, this plays beautifully clean. Um, it really does. There is absolutely no background noise whatsoever. Um, and he's on the hospital label. And hospital records seem to be um, absolutely killing it at the moment with their drum and bass output and sort of electronic dance music. So definitely give hospital records a bit of a um, check. I would show you the other side of this to see if there's a hospital record side, but I think my address is on the other side. Um, if you can see, that's their logo there. Um, check them out. Hospital records are well worth a look. Um, but yeah, so that is Neon Dust by Etherwood. I still don't know how to say it. Etherwood, Etherwood. Etherwood, Etherwood. I think his name is Woody. Um, but if you like your drum and bass music, if you like your chill out music or liquid drum and bass, whatever the term is, um, then I strongly urge you to give this a go. Go and have a listen. I, I promise if you like drum and bass music, if you like chill out stuff, you will not be disappointed. Um, and obviously, check out the the other albums in his collection too, um, all of which I can recommend. If I had to pick out a favourite, it would still be the first album, but I think the first album, uh, the self-titled album, and Neon Dust, equally amazing. They're all good. Those two are the standout albums. The, far, the latest one, Neon Dust, is definitely a highly polished example of exactly what uh, Etherwood is capable of um, and I cannot wait to see what else comes from it. Um, I'm yet to see him live. I am definitely going to be going to see him live at some point. Um, I just don't know when but yeah really looking forward to it. So there you are, um, Neon Dust by Etherwood. Etherwood, 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 Etherwood. Who knows? Go and check it out, give it a listen and yeah any further information if you, if you know how to say his name leave a comment below and I'll um, I'll try and make an apology. Um, but yeah, thank you very much.